thank you so much for returning to my YouTube channel. My name is Ronda Lynn Nightbow, and for all my new subscribers, aloha and welcome. So if you went ahead and read the description bar, we're going to be talking about tips and tricks to go ahead and make your perfume last all day. So the first trick you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and either gravitate towards your moisturizer. If you don't have a moisturizer on hand, go ahead and gravitate towards your favorite coconut oil or Vaseline. By going ahead and using your Vaseline or your favorite moisturizer or coconut oil, I suggest you go ahead and take a small amount, go ahead and put it onto your wrist and on the back of your ear, just a small amount. Go ahead and rub it together and then go ahead and take your favorite perfume and spritz. Go ahead and rub your wrist together. So that will go ahead and help your perfume to go ahead and last all day. So the next tip we want to go ahead and talk about is where do we go ahead and spray our perfume? What I go ahead and suggest is you spray it on the back of your neck, behind your ears, on your wrist, and behind your knees. Those are the common areas where the perfume will end up permeating and giving you a fragrant scent on your favorite perfume. The third tip I want to go ahead and share with you is always make sure you carry your perfume. Now the perfume that I go ahead and use is from today. It's actually from Avon's. Being that it does not come in a travel size, I have two options. The first option is going to have to be is to wait until the perfume gets a little low. So if I'm traveling, I'm going to go ahead and bring a bottle like this if I want to go ahead and carry it in my handbag. But the second option is to go ahead and get a small little Ziploc bag, take a couple of your Q-tips, go ahead and spray that with your perfume, put that into a small little Ziploc bag, seal the Ziploc bag, and put that into your purse. So if you're working throughout the day or if you need to go ahead and touch up, you can just go ahead and take those Q-tips that are moistened with your perfume and go ahead and touch your perfume up during the day. So the next tip we want to go ahead and share with you is where to go ahead and store your perfume. I love seeing my perfume displayed on my vanity, but I do know that it needs to stay out of direct heat and sunlight. You want to make sure that it is stored in a cool, dry, clean, and dark space. That'll help to keep the shelf life of your perfume. So the last topic I want to go ahead and talk about is the shelf life of your perfume. If for some reason you have a large variety of perfumes, I know we love seeing it displayed on our vanity, but go ahead and make sure that you're rotating all of your different varieties of perfume so that way you won't have to worry about it going bad. Go ahead and make sure that you're paying attention to any discoloration of your perfume and if any of them need to be discarded, if there's a weird smell or odor, go ahead and discard it. So I hope those quick, fast tips went ahead and helped you to go ahead and better utilize some of your perfume bottles. I hope you had fun as I went ahead and shared with you some of my tips and tricks that I go ahead and use when applying perfume. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so by clicking on that subscribe button. Don't forget to click on that notification bell because that'll keep you abreast on some of the videos that I go ahead and upload on a weekly basis. But what I want you to go ahead and do is to go out there, be bold, be beautiful. Don't forget to dress up and all the way from Maui, Hawaii on vacation. My name is Ronald Lynn Bye-bye.